Good morning, folks. We have a mega sunspot teasing us right now. We'll hit two excellent articles, one on pre-earthquake anomalies and the other on solar forcing of the atmosphere. But we need to start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. M-class solar flares continue, but they're largely impulsive. CMEs are not erupting. That's good news, but also a bit baffling, since the sunspots have grown to an enormous size in the last few days. There are multiple flaring regions, but one takes the cake for sure. Let's watch their 48-hour progression here. All three active regions over on this side have the ability to make bigger flares, but are holding steady for now. The largest one, furthest south, is getting close to the size of some of the bigger active regions on record. Magnetic complexity tells us their relative quiet is certainly not a function of inability to make bigger flares. We have considerable magnetic mixing with the southernmost spots harboring beta gamma delta magnetic class areas. The symmetry there is the lone stability factor at the moment. We'll see how that progresses. They are already in position to hit Earth if they erupt and will reach the directly Earth-facing position later tonight or tomorrow. Watching those very closely. Let's go to the articles, where a team has found a way to more accurately and rapidly detect magnetic anomalies and swarm data that precede earthquakes. These may be able to take these pre-earthquake studies from a retrospective analysis to predictive warning. It's the key step in that process, faster and more accurate identification of the anomalies seen in the hundreds of papers on this topic over the last decade. We also have a great paper that was somewhat poorly translated to English for the internet, but the gist can still be understood. Solar activity, once again, confirmed to have a profound impact on the North Atlantic Oscillation, one of the most important oscillations for weather and climate. We've seen this many times before in other studies, and it's good to get that confirmation here. There are dozens of studies now on how the NAO, PDO, ENSO, and again, every important oscillation on Earth are actually controlled by solar activity. Of course, mostly ignored by mainstream weather and climate scientists. Later today, the latest issue of the Observer Review will come out, covering all the top science of the last month, including the great solar storm of early May. This is the best way to stay updated on the most critical science each month and the best way to support the observers. Sign up at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.